hey scorpios let's get into your messages at this time remember to take what resonates and leave what does not messages for scorpios at this time spirit all right we have snake shed old skin perfect for the full moon today scorpio um definitely shedding old skin anything that no longer serves you a lot of you are in this transformation process some of you could be going through some sort of a kundalini awakening as well great teacher learn from spiritual experiences so everything that you have gone through scorpio was some sort of spiritual lesson a spiritual experience but it was so you can help others so you can teach others how to you know shed this these old ways of living or whatever it is i feel like there's a lot of peace coming into your life scorpio as well a lot of healing that's been going on Some of you may have a strong connection to the Ascended Masters as well. You could be seeing 333. What else here for Scorpio? Autumn, release the old and rest. Scorpio, what a, what, what a bunch of cards to come out for the full moon, huh? All right, so again, Scorpio, there could be something that you're shedding here from autumn time, from the fall, something that's happened. Um... But yeah, I feel like it's definitely a time to shed the old skin. Right now, you're in a, a, a transformation energy, Scorpio. It's time to dead all the old things in the past, releasing it. I feel like there's also something new coming in around the fall time. I feel like you've learned all the lessons you needed to learn for this cycle, Scorpio. Something about snake shed old skin. I feel like also to a cups in reverse i also feel like scorpio was quite the battle between like light and dark you know quite a battle i feel like there was a lot of darkness um for some of you between may have started back in 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 fall of last year where you may have been going through some a very tough cycle but I feel like something's come to a completion. Something's come to a full circle here, whatever cycle this is. Two of Cups in reverse. For some of you, this may be about a friendship, a partnership, a relationship, okay? But something here where there was definitely a breakup, a separation between two people. It's time to shed old skin when it comes to connections or who you were in the past and past connections, who you chose as past lovers. A lot of you have been shedding that old skin, okay? Ace of Cups, why? Because there's new love coming in. For a lot of you, this could even be just a lot of self-love after releasing a Two of Cups here. Tell me more about shedding old skin a lot of you again just shedding old skin could ca be causing you know separations between you uh, and friends you and partners like you are growing scorpio you're ascending you're maturing you know on a spiritual level and like <clears throat> not everybody can go on the new on this new journey with you right seven of wands yeah i feel like you're not letting any old friendships partnerships exes or anything like that anybody that you have separated yourself from scorpio i feel like you have put boundaries up with these people you're not allowing them into your life strong boundaries here and i feel like i'm str I'm, I'm talking listen like if you're a, a, a feminine scorpio you are very very strong spiritually physically A lot of you just no longer resonate with these um, energies that you maybe once were on the same frequency with. You know, change is hard for Scorpio sometimes. We are a fixed sign. You know, we it's hard. It's hard, you know. But when we're pushed by the universe, sometimes it's it's... It's so hard to change that the universe will push us, right, to do it. But with the Seven of Wands, I feel like Scorpio, don't, um, for some of you, okay, 
don't fight this shedding. Okay. A lot of you are like, no, I'm not. I'm good. <laughs> but some of you may be trying to fight this, this shedding that's going on here. Um, spirit is wanting you to allow it to happen. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more about snake shadows. Okay. You could be 27 years old, Scorpio. You could be born in 1972. Seven of Cups. Could be seeing 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, see, Seven of Cups here, Scorpio. It's giving me this energy of like, who do I want to be? Or who am I? Or who do I, who is it that, you know... What type of person do I want to date? What type of career do I want? Like, I feel like there, there's, I feel like there's clarity coming in for you, Scorpio, as well. Um, if you were in an energy of confusion, of not knowing what direction to go, um, I feel like that clarity is coming in and it's coming in quick. Again, if you have... If you were dealing with any energies or anybody who was kind of putting you in any sort of illusions, keeping you as an option, again, this is something else that you're shedding here, Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles. A new solid beginning coming in, Scorpio. So Scorpio, you shedding old skin, you putting boundaries up could definitely have people very much in their head. I feel like you got people sick, like you got them sick in the head, you know, at the fact that you're putting boundaries up, that you're not allowing them back into your life or trying to even reconnect with them. I mean, I, you got people feeling sick. All right. <laughs> I, I like there's no other way to put it here. I also feel like for some of you, Scorpio, there could be a bit of like oh, fear or anxiety about what the future holds. And, you know, there could be even f like this energy of anxiety around shedding these old parts of you. You know, I feel like, the, you know, the part where you were indecisive about things or at a crossroads about things, I feel like that's not going to be a thing anymore. Being confused or... Which way, which direction do I go? Like, that's not going to be a thing anymore. Being in your head, being anxious, being depressed. Mm -mm. I feel like the divine is blessing you with this Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio. This is a solid new beginning. This could be a business opportunity, a financial opportunity. This could be a, a, some sort of commitment coming in. But whatever this is, it's solid. It's tangible. Um, and with it brings a lot of stability and security. Um, Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on this opportunity or future opportunities due to still being in this Nine of Swords, being all up in your head, having fear, having doubt, paranoia, anxiety. Um... They're wanting you to look at the blessing that's coming in here or that has is being presented to you and to not be at a crossroads when it comes through the, to this transformation. <clears throat> Tell me about great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences, the magician, the ace of wands. Wow. Wow. I feel like this is a time for you to create a new reality, Scorpio. Create something entirely new for yourself. You could be seeing 11-11. You could be a November Scorpio, 111 as well, 77, 77, 11. You could be born in 1992. 
learn from these spiritual experiences, Scorpio, because I feel like you throughout these these experiences are helping you manifest something new. They're helping you create a whole new reality. Okay. That, you know, that's what I manifested last time, or that's what I experienced. I don't want to experience that anymore. So now here you are, Scorpio. Spirit is giving you a brand new opportunity to manifest what it is that you would like. <clears throat> the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like Spirit is saying slow and steady wins the race here, Scorpio. Take your time with... with what it is that you're doing on, on the path that you're going on. Remember to remember to always know to stay grounded as you're manifesting as well. And know that with manifestations, there comes work behind it. You know, you can't just manifest and throw it in the universe and like, oh, it's just going to come to me. Like, no, you got to put work behind those manifestations as well. You know? Um. So also being like practical is the word I want to say. I, some uh, Something about Practical Magic, I believe that's uh, 1122 on the timer. Practical Magic is a movie. So something about that movie may be uh, significant. Something about great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. The lovers in reverse and the four of wands. Yeah. And this fell out on top of uh, all the cards under snake, snake, shed old skin. The lovers in reverse. Yeah, there's, there's some, even if this is like a deep soulmate connection, Scorpio, you're releasing this. You're shedding this. I feel like this, if it's lovers that are no longer on your same vibration, on your frequency, you're separating yourself from it. You're letting it go. And for a lot of, you know, for some of you, it may be creating this nine of swords energy where you're like, there may be, you know, sleepless nights. Maybe you're crying, you're purging, you know. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, four of wands here. Yeah, there's progression that's going to go on in your life, Scorpio. A lot of you may be moving into a new home. Um, Ace of Swords, yeah. A lot of clarity, new ideas, breakthroughs. Look at all these Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords here. And we saw the Ace of Cups at the beginning. Okay, so... A lot of fresh starts here, Scorpio. As you release what no longer serves you. You see, I feel like there's a situation here where there was a connection where the most high brought you and somebody else together. And somebody, <laughs> I feel like, did not kind of live up to the con like the, the contract that y'all had here. You know, the tell me more about this two of cups and the lovers in reverse. The eight of pentacles, yeah. Somebody wasn't putting in the work the dedication and the effort into this connection the way they were supposed to. The divine brought you two together for a reason. And Scorpio, I feel like you were doing your part. But somebody else wasn't putting in their part. They could have been causing a lot of illusions, um, selling dreams, you know, keeping you stuck because they were stuck or at a crossroads or indecisive. Anything else here about the Five of Pentacles? This is somebody who made you feel neglected, abandoned. They may have left you out in the cold, Scorpio. For some of you, this person took everything you had. Stripped you of who you were, your identity. Tell me more about the lovers and the Four of Cups in reverse four swords yeah you put something to arrest here scorpio in order for you to, to heal this person was supposed to collaborate with you they were supposed to work together with you to build with you the emperor aries energy Interesting.
<clears throat> yeah, I feel like this person was supposed to step into this emperor energy. And they didn't. A lot of you may have shed that old skin or are shedding that old skin. And you yourself are stepping into this emperor energy. Something more about um, great teacher, learn from spiritual experience, eight of wands. I feel like things are going to start moving very quickly for you, Scorpio. Things that you're manifesting are just going to start coming in very, very fast. And it's because you're shedding this old skin, these old layers, these energies, like it, it's giving cord cutting. You're doing a lot of releasing. This full moon feels very potent. I feel like once this is all released, Scorpio, things are going to start just, you're, you're going to start manifesting quicker. Your manifestations are going to start coming in quicker. You're going to be like hitting milestones a lot faster, achieving things a lot quicker, like a lot of clarity and breakthrough and ideas coming in very fast as well. Like things feel, no, look at this, the world, you see what I'm saying? So there's a lot of accomplishments and success that's coming in in this new cycle for you, Scorpio, because you've successfully or are successfully clearing out some old shit here. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. This looks like a whole glow up, Scorpio. Like, this looks like... This is like you... Man. Feels like a lot of spiritual weight. A lot of, like... Heavy energy. And once this old skin is shed, this feels like... It, you're gonna feel so much lighter, Scorpio. This feels like a breath of fresh air. But you've learned from these spiritual experiences, Scorpio. This is how you know you've done the work. You're ascending. You're stepping into a new level in your spirit in your uh, spiritual journey here, Scorpio. Tell me about release the old and rest. And whatever happens spiritually also happens in the physical. So <laughs> tell me about release the old and rest. Page of Swords. So some of you may still be kind of analyzing the past, what had happened, what has happened. Okay. Um, maybe there's still like answers that you are looking for, things that you may still be cur curious about. But spirit, again, is really wanting you to release the old and rest, Scorpio. Stop trying to overanalyze. Stop trying to search. Just let it go release especially if, if if this is something specific that happened around the fall time of last year or fall time two years ago there's something here significant about the fall time there i feel like there's this, um somebody definitely watching you scorpio um i feel like this is somebody who you may have already released you may have released this person around the fall time so anywhere between september and november you definitely have somebody watching you. I feel like this person has been watching you since you released them. The tower. There definitely was some sort of tower moment in autumn, Scorpio. This could have even been multiple situations, multiple towers coming in around this time. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, or another Scorpio. There's definitely some, oof, gosh, Scorpio, this was a major upheaval that happened, major tower. I also feel like when it comes to the message of the person who's kind of watching you in the background here, Scorpio, and you already released this person, okay? <laughs> uh... Or maybe you're still needing to. Okay. If some of you are still, and I'm just going to say this for some of you, okay? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't shoot me in the comments. But if some of you are still spying on any body from the past or trying to watch them or anything like that, spirit wants you to release it. Okay. Now. It, this person, I feel like because there is somebody in the background watching you. I feel like this is somebody you had a tower moment with. There could have been 
you know, just again, some sort of upheaval that happened between you and this person. The tower came down. Boom. This is somebody who's still watching you. A lot of you also, besides that, went through some sort of tower moment in the month of, I mean, I'm sorry, in, um, in the fall time. I don't know. You still may be analyzing or trying to look over or trying to gain answers to, but yeah, something's dead over and done with Scorpio. Something may be very significant about Scorpio season with this tower. But this is your energy, Scorpio. This is your season, autumn here. So, like, mm, again, something may be very significant about this Scorpio season that's coming up, okay? Look at all that strength and that confidence, Scorpio. All those obstacles that you have overcome, those spiritual lessons that you've had to fight through. Look at this. The strength, Empress energy. Your, your root chakra may be very significant at this time. Um as well i feel like there, like a lot of you have been uh healing the root chakra and the root chakra deals with um your stability your security your roots so i feel like a lot of you have been doing a lot of work around that and that's what's been that's what is helping you shed this old skin releasing the old releasing the past you could have leo in your chart there could be a leo that you released you have Taurus Libra in your chart or there's a Taurus or Libra that you have released Scorpio there could also be another Scorpio that you definitely released here that you put something to a rest with now Scorpio I feel like look at this the wheel of fortune here Scorpio you're on top of the wheel things are going in your favor in this new cycle okay look at moving towards calmer waters Scorpio whatever happened in the past here especially around the fall time Spirit wants you to know that this tower is done with. It's 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 done. It's dead. It happened. You have you went through some major transformation because of this tower. And you came out of this tower alive. I mean, you know, barely, but alive, Scorpio. <laughs> you made it out out of this tower, okay? Your skin might have your skin might have got you know fried off, but you made it. You made it, nonetheless. You're here. You're on the other side. Congratulations, Scorpio. I've said this before, and in a few other readings, and this card always gives me this energy every time. You you may have people from the past, people that you have already released, who are going to try to come back in for forgiveness, Scorpio, asking you for forgiveness, and a lot of you are like. No, no, hell no. <laughs> after you done caused a tower in my life, no. After after you done brought some upheaval or some, ca no. Tell me more about autumn, release the old and rest. Three of wands. Wheel of Fortune again at the bottom, Scorpio. Abundance, Six of Swords again. There's abundance coming in. Good luck, good fortune. Your ships are coming in, Scorpio, because you're releasing the old. I do feel like there, again, and I know y'all don't want to hear it, but I have to say it because it's here and I, I'm seeing it. There's somebody from the past who feels like they're waiting for you or you're going to come back, Scorpio. Somebody feels like you're going to come back. I do feel like somebody wants to make some sort of return and ask for forgiveness. I do. But I just feel like it's, y'all are over it. Done. One more here for Scorpio. Three of Cups. Again, you could be seeing three, 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 three. Um, yeah, there's celebrations coming in, Scorpio. I feel like there could also be a friend group here that you release as well. I feel like your Scorpio, your world is expanding. There's growth. There's new things coming in. Manifestations that you put out there are coming in. And it's like a lot of you don't have time to... 
like I don't want to say you don't have time to play around you don't have time to mess with with these people who you have already released who you've put an end to uh relationships with for some of you it could be a friend group here as well that you put an end to maybe I feel like you didn't see any growth in this situation or in this friendship or with these friends this group of people these may have been the type of people who like to party, like to go out. Same same shit every Saturday night type of energy. And Scorpio, you wanted expansion. You wanted growth. You wanted to travel, you know? Like, a lot of reflecting, a lot of introspecting with the hermit here. You could have Virgo in your chart or dealing with the Virgo. Five of Cups. A lot of releasing here, Scorpio. A lot of tears, a lot of purging. I feel like there's a lot of celebration coming in, though, for you, Scorpio. So, it's time to put the old to rest. Anything else here for Scorpios? Five of Wands. Any arguments, conflicts, petty disagreements? Anybody who was in competition with you, anybody who was trying to bring drama or conflict or competition or jealousy your way, Scorpio, it's done. The competition is no more. The world, that's it. <laughs> okay, spirit, okay. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, heavy on the Taurus with the Hierophant at the bottom. Okay, some of you may have released a marriage or a commitment here as well. Um, but yeah, successfully closed out a cycle here, Scorpio, that may have started back in the fall time. It's done. You did it. You did it. <laughs> you did it. All right. <sighs> Scorpio, also shedding old skin when it comes to like a lack mindset around money. Okay. I feel is coming in. I feel like there's going to, you're stepping more into this mindset of I am powerful. I can manifest what I want. I can manifest money. I can make, you know, build this, grow this. Like you, I feel like you're stepping into this very confident and powerful energy here, Scorpio, where, you know, it's that it's giving me, I believe I can fly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're really believing in yourself and because of that Scorpio because you're leaving behind this lack mindset this poverty mindset these partnerships friendships uh, exes lovers whatever that don't vibrate with you they're not on the same frequency as you like you're releasing it all right Scorpios let's get into your advice A lot of you could definitely be traveling, uh, moving overseas, reload, uh, moving overseas, or just traveling overseas, or just traveling in general, Scorpio. I feel like if you have some sort of business as well, there could be major expansion in your business, especially if you're doing something online. Some of you could be expanding your business internationally as well. Whatever it is, especially when it comes to business, Scorpio, there's a lot of success and celebrating around it. I do see a lot of expansion coming into your into your life. And I do want to say that, and I think I said this in another reading, where Scorpio, it feels like for a lot of you, for a lot of you who have who are, are in this stage of releasing and, and stepping into this new energy, this new cycle. I feel like the next two to three years may be very significant, very important, and very abundant and fruitful for you, Scorpio. There's a lot of potential for the next two, two, two to three years here is what this is feeling like. <laughs> One second. Okay. Advice for Scorpio, Spirit. Okay. We have number nine, blessings of Kumu. No good thing shall be withheld. Your birthday could be November 9th. You could be a life path nine, Scorpio. You don't have to be, but you can be. All right, let's get to the book. Okay, the universe wants to express its creativity, healing, and brilliance through you. It does not want to be limited to repeating what has already been. Newness needs to burst through you into startling expressions of abundant life. 
You are guided into unknown territory, guided to go beyond that which you have known yourself and your world to be, so that something original and necessary can be brought to life. The universe knows all that you need so that you can best attain your destiny. All shall be provided for you. Expand your faith to allow for the greater workings of spirit. Resources are coming to you now. If you have been in lack, limitation, or anxiety about such things happening, relax and substitute your stress. Okay. The lack. Substitute your stress for the absolute trust that the universe will provide all good things with generosity and grace. If you find this challenging, take it one step at a time, reprogramming your heart and mind into new habits of peaceful trust. It will feel much better to live like this. It is not foolish, but wisdom that embraces such unconditional faith. That's all the spiritual experiences, Scorpio. Know that the provision of all the resources required is a certainty. The only variables are the details of how the journey unfolds. When you tune into your heart, you'll remember that you are loved, protected, and guided in every moment. Trust the universe. When you are a dreamer, a visionary, and a seer of the need for transformation in our world, it can be easy to feel intimidated, to dismiss the possibility for radical change as unrealistic, to believe that the greatest of our visions are unattainable in the real world. However, many think <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> However, many things the human mind once considered impossible are now part of our daily lives. The impossible becomes possible on a regular basis. Kumu is the Hawaiian teacher, I'm sorry, Kumu is the Hawaiian term for teacher and source of wisdom. The universe is the great Kumu. When we trust in the universe, we come to understand certain truths, including the realization that we don't have to be limited to what we logically know. If we are willing to expand our faith, then that which we are capable of experiencing in harmony with the universe will expand also. Your beautiful and perhaps impossible seeming dreams are supported by the unlimited resources of the universe. Even if you don't know what is needed and when, for creating a successful outcome, the universe does. You're being guided to reset your mind and heart to unconditional trust. This can be a challenge for the human part of us that tends to give weight mostly to what can be perceived through the five bodily senses. Yet, for your spirit, this is easy. The spirit within you knows the incredible power of the divine for bringing together all aspects of life in the perfect way, at the perfect time, for astounding success. Your spirit knows that when you take action on your most impossible divine mission, from a position of faith rather than a more limited perspective, the universe helps you every step of the way. It is time to adjust your belief systems to encompass this entire universe as your creative partner in life. It provides you with resources, opportunities, and learning experiences to gain precious information and life skills so that you are singularly and wholly equipped to do what you have come to on this planet. What you have come to do on this planet. Kumu, the great wisdom teacher, guides you now. Don't allow your mind to create visions of poverty, lack, failure. You see, this is the... <laughs> okay. Don't allow your mind to create visions of poverty, lack, failure, or absence of support. Focus instead upon the sweet generosity of the universe, lovingly providing for you, often in advance of you consciously realizing what you need. That would be the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, right? with all that is necessary for your best life fulfillment of your sacred purpose. All the answers, the connections, the resources, everything that you need is right there for you at the best moment. With a focus on a feeling of excitement about opportunities, inspirational innovation, and the best and brightest of human creative endeavor, surge forward in harmony with each other to establish sustainable new systems. You can lend your energy, your mind, and your body to what you want to happen in this world. The universe will hear and feel you and provide resources accordingly. Let your thoughts and hopes become your prayers and the answers to those prayers will benefit all life on this planet. Scorpios, oh, what a time. What a time to be alive. You and yours. Bless me and mine. Okay, Scorpios, if this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Have an amazing day. Bye.